Hey, sonny boy. Just a reminder that I'm off to the big soccer game in Melbourne. I'll be home in two days. And remember, when I come home, say it like you mean it. Where's the nearest bus stop? I won't lie to you. Wait. What happens if I did lie to him? I'm home. Hey, Vet. Did you miss me? Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. That tone of your voice. What do you mean? You didn't believe in me. Wait, what? This ends here. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Liar. How do you like me now, you filthy animal? Oh no, I suddenly remember it now. What if he thinks I've been lying, he might kick me out of the house? Why am I the only one who keeps forgetting? The next day. So let me get this straight. You imagine your father coming home from the big soccer game. He thought that you didn't believe in him. Is that correct? Yes. Well then start believing in him in a nice way. And don't use that tone of your voice. All right, I will. Thanks. Bye. He's on his way home. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Fourteen minutes later. I made it! Okay, now, what Leah has told me earlier? Oh yeah, believing in him. He's here. Okay, David. You know what to do. I'm home. David, did you miss me? Yes. Yes, I missed you. Do you really mean it? Yes, of course. I swear to God. Well then, I'll just get changed into different clothes, and then I can spend some quality time with you. Oh, and one more thing. Yes? You know what's weird for me? In my alternate reality, I had that weird tone in my voice, meaning that I don't believe in you, and I know that I hurt your feelings, and you're just gonna kill me with that nerve gun of yours, or you're gonna kick me out of the house. What? Are you high? I would never do that. I know, but I realize I made things worse from that experience. Because you do believe in me. Well, that's family. We believe in each other because we love each other. Start thinking of what you want to do while I get changed. What about a movie we could watch together? <laughs>